So I've been restoring the sign in front of my house and these are the two little hangers that the sign was hanging from. And they're also a year old and they're pretty rusty. So I figured instead of buying some new ones and them just last another year, I would try to nickel plate them. So a while back I bought some nickel rods and I'm going to try to make some nickel acetate. So this is filled up with vinegar. I'm going to get the two nickel rods and pass a current through the vinegar and hopefully that will turn into nickel acetate. Um, some people in the videos will put a little bit of salt in there. I'm going to try it without it. If it doesn't work then we'll put a little bit of salt in there. And uh, we'll also at the same time try to get the rust off of these. It's too small to sand so I have some um, phosphoric acid that I've mix 50% with water so we'll put that in there and hopefully the rust will come off of that and then we'll try to plate it so we'll start making our nickel acetate solution right now so I have my two nickel plates set up inside the vinegar I'm going to cut up my power supply I'm going to turn up the voltage just until I see the current to start start to rise I can see it moving right there. Let me just leave it on. Just leave it on six volts and see what it does. Check back in a little bit. So it's been about ten minutes and it's already starting to bubble. If you can see it, let me zoom in. So I think we'll let it sit overnight and see what it does. We'll check it in the morning. All right. So it's the next morning. I think we started this around 9.30 last night and it's 7.30 the next morning. Um, the solution has turned a little bit green. It's, uh, it's not happened super quick, but not really in a hurry either, so I'm just going to let it keep going. It's 6 volts, so we could probably turn the voltage up and make it happen a little quicker. Um, as I said in earlier, you could probably put a little bit of salt in it. But I'm just going to let it keep going. I'm not really in a hurry. Uh, we'll check it after work. So tonight sometime around 7 or so. Okay, so now it's 6.30 at night. And it's about twice as dark. Twice as green as it was this morning. So still got a ways to go, but it's definitely working. So I guess we'll um, check on it sometime tomorrow again. It's probably got another 24 or 48 hours at least. till it's ready. Alright, so it's the next day, around 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Um, we started this maybe two nights ago, around 9.30 or so. So, something like 40 hours later. And, as you can see, it's pretty green now. So, I think it's probably uh, done about what it's going to do. Not only because of the color, but if you look at this plate, it's actually been eaten away a pretty good amount. And there's some black stuff down in the bottom, like some powder. So I don't know if that was like um, some impurities in the metal. And then this plate's been plated with nickel, it looks like. It's got a lot of deposits on it. You can see it's kind of black up here, like, like that uh, powder I'm seeing in the bottom. But there's not much. So I think that's what it's supposed to happen. So I think I'm going to go ahead and stop that for now. And then um, I'll get the rust cleaned off of the parts. And... Maybe find a couple other things and try plating some stuff tonight. So here's the two hooks that I want to try to nickel plate for my little sign restoration. I also looked around the shop and found this old key I found at my grandma's house. So I'm gonna I'm gonna get the Dremel tool, a little steel disc on it, and um, a wire brush, and we're going to kind of try to knock off most of the dirt and the, the loose rust and then we'll stick it in this which is phosphoric acid it says 50% but it's 50% mixed with the gallon that I bought which was 80% by itself so it's 40% phosphoric acid <clears throat> and um, bought that off of Flea Bay and um, see how that does there's mixed information on the internet whether or not phosphoric acid will actually take rust off of steel or whether it will just convert it 
to some other type of stable outside and I believe it kind of does both I did a test run and it definitely took it down to the steel but before it took it down to the steel it seemed like it converted it into something different so I think if we put this in there we'll come out with bare steel and then we'll just hit it with the wire wheel again and hopefully we'll be ready to nickel plate so that'll be a second experiment at the same time see how that does this was on flea bay um, forty dollars for a gallon so it's a little cheaper than some other uh, rust removal type things it was food grade phosphoric acid so we'll give that a try see how it does Okay, so I've reduced the dirt and the surface rust as much as I can with a little Dremel tool wire wheel. Um, I guess one thing worth pointing out is I don't know what this is made out of. Um, it kind of looks like steel in places and it kind of looks like it's rusted in places, but it may be some, something else. I'm not really sure. So, and I also don't know what you can plate with nickel acetate and nickel plates. So, I guess the whole thing's kind of a experiment that way also so if that doesn't work then um that's probably to blame is that it's the wrong type of metal but these hopefully will work so i guess we'll dunk these in the phosphoric acid i have no clue how long it'll take so we'll just come back and check it every now and then um, definitely put on some gloves i don't think phosphoric acid is a super strong acid but you probably don't want it on your skin and i got safety glasses so we'll go ahead and drop it in there and see what happens. Alright, so we'll let that Go for a while. I'm gonna hold the camera up so you can see it. It do seem to be bubbling, so something's definitely happening. So we'll check back with it in I don't know, 10, 15 minutes. See if it's doing anything. So it's been about 15 minutes, and let me pull it up so you guys can see. Still bubbling away and most of the rust has been removed that looks like bare metal to me so we'll let it keep going um, I don't know, I'm gonna watch some TV I'll, I'll come uh, I'll come check it periodically and whenever it looks like it's done or or is done as much as it's gonna do I'll I'll start the video back up okay well it's been about an hour and I actually have something to do this afternoon, so I think I'm going to go ahead and stop this where it's at. So we'll pull these out and see what they look like. I've got some water right here. So we'll dip it in there. Uh, and then we'll dry it off on these paper towels right here. Alright, so here's the parts. Um, definitely no rust on anything. Um, this has some black. I'm gonna cut on the light. This has some black stuff. It almost looks like paint, maybe. Right around here. And this one's pretty much clean. There's something right there. Same thing on this one. It's clean except for something right there. So I think um, what I'll do is, when I come back later, I'll just use the Dremel tool with the wire brush and try to get the rest of whatever's on here off. Then uh, maybe we'll dip back in the acid for a minute just, just to, to make sure that the surface is perfectly clean and then try to plate it. Okay, so I cleaned up those parts using the wire wheel on the Dremel tool. And I also used 
this right here which is like a like a diamond bit to get um, inside the pieces of the key where I couldn't get the wire wheel so anyway everything came off really easily uh, not really sure what the stuff on the key was it's a really old key it's probably I don't know paint or something but anyways um, it came off and uh, everything looked really good after the wire wheel so I decided to go ahead and put it in the nickel acetate so I've got it set up here to the power supply I had the power supply on but I've got the voltage turned all the way down so as you can see uh, if you can see the parts in there they're all suspended from some single strand copper wire it's hanging into the solution I've got two nickel plates one on each side um, connected to the positive electrode the positive of the power supply and the negative from the power supply is connected to the parts I also made this piece right here which is copper just some single strand copper wire I'm gonna hang it over the top too just so it can be something we can easily pull out and just kinda make sure that it is working so as you can see that's copper right there I haven't done anything to it as far as cleaning it it's just how it was after I stripped the insulation off of it so anyways we'll um I'll set this on there So it is mostly, let's see if I can zoom in, it's not really focusing really well, but it's mostly in the water, it's maybe sticking out like a quarter inch or an eighth of an inch or so. so. What I'm going to do is turn it up to not really high maybe maybe like three volts oh, that might be a little high actually the currents came up pretty high let's try two volts we'll leave it at two volts and um yeah I'm gonna go watch some football for a little bit we'll come back in um I don't know it's 945 at night Maybe we'll check it in 10 minutes and see what it looks like. Okay, so it's been like 10 minutes. Let's pull it out and see what it looks like. Kind of thought it'd be more silver by now. You probably can't tell. Let me see if I can. It has a little bit of a silver tint to it but not much so it's definitely going to take some more time of course like I said I didn't clean this too so I don't know if this is a good representation I just figured we'd have something that we could actually see a color change and maybe even put some calipers on and see what kind of what kind of thickness of plating we have so I guess I'll kind of jiggle this stuff around a little bit agitate it we'll let it sit a little longer this time I'll come back I'll, I'll start the camera back up when you can actually see a color change Okay, so it's been like an hour now. I don't know if you can see this, but it's definitely silver. You know, a silver color now. There's a very visible line right here where it's like a copper color and then it's like a silver color after that. And I'm thinking that maybe since I didn't clean this maybe it had some oxides or something on it that really prevented it because the stuff that's down in there that I did clean let me get it down close so you can see has a lot of bubbles on it and that copper wire never did have a lot of bubbles so I'm thinking maybe it really just wasn't that clean but anyway I'm gonna assume it's coated take this out and look at it so this is I'm gonna paper towel this is the key it definitely doesn't look like steel anymore it kinda has a almost like a tarnished kinda look I 
Okay, it actually looks good after I wipe it with the paper towel. Yeah, I must have had like some loose loose stuff on it. Yeah, so it's not shiny, but it's definitely different looking. It doesn't look like steel anymore. Maybe I'll run a buffing pad over it and try to make that shiny. And these are all the other parts. Yeah, they definitely look like they're coated in something. Yeah, it's almost like a like a tarnished silver kind of look. Which I don't really care what these look like. I just want them to have a coating on them that's corrosion corrosion resistant. So, since they were kind of silver before, there's no way to really know um, from looking at it if it's coated. So we'll just go with that and see how it does. But as far as this goes, I think I'll polish it up some and see what it looks like. Okay, so I just ran the wire wheel over this. It definitely looks silver now. It's kind of a nickel color. It's really consistent before it looked kind of blotchy or something right when it first came out but it looks it doesn't look like it did before before it looked like it was you know iron some kind of iron or steel it definitely looks like it's coated in something that's very consistent I don't see any spots that look like they didn't get coated so it looks like we successfully nickel, nickel coated that I think we could probably polish that up if we wanted to but um so it looks pretty good so I think these parts right here will, will work out. So this will be the real test. We'll put these on the sign, my sign that I just restored in the other video. And um, if uh, if you see another video of me restoring it again in a year, you'll know it didn't work out. Now we'll probably do a check up video, a follow up video at some point, and check on these things because they'll actually be out in the weather. So I guess that's it for now. Thanks for watching. So I was a bit disappointed in how the wire turned out, so I got another piece of wire and stripped it on each end, just like before, but this time I actually cleaned it up, and it's a noticeably different color change after I went over it with the wire wheel. So it kind of make the same kind of shape, and uh, I think we'll stick this in there when we do like an hour before. So we'll do it for an hour again, and see if it's any different. I, I kind of wanted to be able to measure the measure the thickness of the plating and the other one just didn't really seem to get much on it so that's sixty three thousandths one two yeah sixty three thousandths I don't know if that's focusing or not without the coating so we'll put it in there and check back on it in a little bit So it's been about 15 minutes and if you look at this one it already has more of a more of a nickel coating than the one that we did last night so it's probably definitely because it had it was not cleaned properly so anyway we'll let that continue after an hour we'll be able to measure what kind of a coating it is on it and that's probably about what's what type of coating we have on the other parts we did so it's been an hour now Let's pull it out and see what it looks like. Yeah. It's definitely nickel plated. Much more so than the other one was. The other one, I mean, you could see it, but it was a pretty thin coating. You could still see kind of the, the copper color underneath it. But this one's definitely nickel colored, so let's see if we got any measurable plating on it. Measurable thickness. That's showing up. That's uh, 60, 1, 2, 3, 4, a little over 64 thousandths, so 
I don't remember what it was for. It was like 62 or 63. So there's definitely something on there. So I guess we'll end this video here. Thanks for watching.